everyone. Welcome to the class. Good to see you guys again. I say good morning, but I can see for many of you it's actually the afternoon. Like for Clement, it is 2 p.m. in France, so not morning at all. But for me, it's the morning. It's 9 o'clock here in the Dominican Republic. So welcome everyone to the class. If you want to join, go ahead and click on that green button just about two minutes after the hour and you'll be able to join with us, okay? I see we already have with us Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Can you hear me? Yes, I can now. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very good. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. From Chihuahua, Mexico. Wonderful. Yeah. And it's, what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning? Yes. Is it the same for you? No, it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in the morning here. Okay. <laughs> um, why are you, you up are? so early? Sorry? Why are you up so early? Because uh, later I need to go to work. Okay, very good. What do you do for work, Samuel? I'm an architect. An architect. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you working on any projects right now? Uh, not right now. Uh, I'm working in a construction company as a buyer. Okay, I, very good. Yes. I buy uh, all the stuff for the buildings. I, I need uh, to, uh, how is the word, comply with all the specification for the projects. Very good. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, 12 years. Fantastic. Very good. Well, welcome. It's good to have you, Samuel. It's nice to meet you. Okay. For me, too. Hi, Koji. How are you today? Hi, Abby. Fine. Glad to be here. Thanks to let me in. Yes, it's good to see you. That's a lovely yeah, picture. Yeah, good to see you, too. Oh, thanks. Where it's is that? It's in a park. Actually, it's in a, in a hotel. A hotel. We went okay. uh, some months ago. Wow. Very nice. Well, it's good to have you. Hello, Igor. Welcome. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good to see you, or at least hear you again. Good to see you, too, <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had you in the class. Mm, yes, uh, I uh, can. Uh, you, how to say in past? I can to come to last your last class. How to say in past? I couldn't uh, come. I couldn't come to your last class. <laughs> That's okay. We still have to work. We still have lives, right? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lorena. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good. It's nice to meet you. I think this is the first time I've had you in my class? Yeah, it is. Excellent. It's very nice to meet you. Where are you from, Lorena? I am from Spain. From Spain. Fantastic. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Hi, Firkin. Hi. What are you up to today? Role playing. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's nice to see you. Nice to have you with us. And Mina. Hey, Mina. Hey, Ms. Abby. I am a morning person. What about you? Uh, sometimes, depending on my mood. If I was not a morning person, this class would not be very good. <laughs> 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 I'd be too tired. Welcome. It's good yeah, to see you again. I hope you took again. your breakfast. Sorry? Did you have your breakfast? I already had my breakfast. Thank you. Great. I've already Great. been out running. I've taken the dogs for a run. I've had my breakfast. I'm ready to go. Lucky dogs. <laughs> Hi, Mon Monsif. I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. Is it Monsif? Oh, sounds like there's a bit of a problem with maybe your microphone. 
I can't hear you speaking. Oh, I see you sending me a message. Let me check. No, we cannot hear you, Mansif. We can't hear you. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Hi. Um, then next we have Unai. Yes, hello. Oh, there's a big problem with your microphone. There's a big problem yeah. with your microphone, Monsi, if I don't think you can use it because it's very, very noisy. There's lots of um, sound that comes with it. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, no. If you can fix it, then you're more than welcome to participate. We have to see if we can maybe get that fixed, okay? And I'm sorry, Unai, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you today? Hello. Fine, I'm fine. I'm a little Good. sick, but it's okay. Oh, what do you have? I have runny nose. Runny nose. <laughs> a runny nose. Runny nose, yes. So we might yes. say you have a cold. You could say, I have a cold. I have a cold, yes. I'm very sorry to see that. I don't think I have ever had you in a class before. No, it's my first time with you. Welcome. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Nice to meet you. And my friend on the end. I forget how to say your name. How are you? Can someone tell me how to say that name? Abdel Mohsen. Pardon me? <laughs> Maybe we can write it in the chat. Abdel Mohsen. Is there a short way that I can say it? Like Abdem? Mohsen. Abdin Mohsen. Mohsen. Oh, he's, and now he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carlos. How are you? Carlos, welcome to the class. Oh, I don't see him anymore. Well, I guess Abdel Mohsen. Oh, my goodness. That is such a long name. I don't think I'll ever be able to say it properly. Abdel Mosem, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. You got headphones? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Very, very good. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Me too. I hope to enjoy with you. I think we will. We have a great group of students today. So it will be very nice to get to know everyone that I don't know and, of course, do a little bit of role playing, okay? So I am going to go ahead and I want to know something about each of you before we get started. And the question is, how do you like to start your day? So for me, it's the morning. For some of you, it's the afternoon. But we're going to start with Igor. How do you like to start off your day, Igor? To... Um Take a dinner. It's correct to say. A dinner in the morning. <laughs> yes. Or, or not dinner. Uh, sorry. Um, mm, or what? Uh, how to say? Breakfast. Breakfast. Yes. To take a to have a breakfast. Uh, after that, to go to jog, and this is start of my day. Excellent. What a healthy way to start. Excellent. What do you typically like to have for breakfast, Igor? I don't know. Uh, maybe coffee with uh, something uh, for the coffee. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, let me see. Abdel Mohsen? Yes. When, when you are not when you are not talking in the class, make sure that you mute your microphone. Okay, okay, I hope. Okay, mute your microphone, and then when I speak with you, then you can unmute it. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thank you very, very much. Just because we can hear everybody talking in it, it, with nine people in the class, it can be a little bit distracting, okay? Okay, are you? Thank you. Igor, that sounds fantastic, and I'm glad to meet a fellow jogger. I like to do exercise in the morning, too. That's a good way to start the day. Koji, what about you? How do you like to start your day? 
I like to have my breakfast uh, and uh, read uh, newspaper, and my my day is started. Breakfast and newspaper, that's fantastic. Now, Koji, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, okay, Brazil. Do you like yeah. to drink coffee? I drink my coffee now. I drink. You're drinking now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must be about 9 o'clock in Brazil. Is it 9 o'clock in the morning? Actually, it's, it's 10 o'clock. 10, so you're one hour ahead of me. Oh, okay. You, are you in United States? No, in the Dominican Republic. Okay, Dominican Republic. Okay. Just above you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. above. I like to eat fruits and uh, with uh, grain in the in my breakfast. Awesome! That sounds like a great way to start your day. What about you, Lorena? Hi. Uh, well. Um, as soon as I wake up, I usually have a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't feel like having a heavy breakfast. And then around 12 minutes, I usually have a brunch. Um, and I go to work from 8 to 12, and then in the afternoon as well, because I have to shift. Is that Monday to Friday? Yeah, Monday to Friday. So what time do you start again in the afternoon? At 4. At 4? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you do between twelve o'clock and four o'clock? Uh, well, I I am working as a receptionist in a school. Mm -hmm. So deal with the students. <laughs> I see. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you for that. What about you, Frickin? Yes. Okay. okay. My every day is different than other. So there's no exact day start for me. So, what time do you normally wake up? Between 6 and 8. Between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock? Yes. Depending on what happened the night before. If I uh, sleep early, I will wake up early. Very good. Excellent. And what about you, Mina? I usually wake up at 12 p.m., uh, wash my uh, face and pray, and then go get some food for, for my mom. Then I might go do some some exercises and go to work. You why do you wake up at twelve o'clock p.m.? Do you work until late? Yes, I have a late shift. Late shift. Okay. What time do you start and what time do you finish? I start in five p.m. and I finish like three a.m. Okay, so we would call that almost a, what we call a graveyard shift in English. <laughs> yes. Have you heard that expression before? No. It's, you know, it's so bad expression. Graveyard. Graveyard shift. <laughs> and it is actually a, like a professional expression that is used in English. You'd use that in business English as well, the graveyard shift. Okay, so I'm okay. dead man. <laughs> no, but you must be tired sometimes. No, it's I get you. Right. you. Yes, of course, of course you do. Hi, Samuel. Hello. What time do you go to bed at night, and what time do you wake up in the morning? I'm going to bed uh, maybe ten o'clock every day. Mm -hmm. The night, and uh, I wake up. Uh, 5.40 uh, the first I do is uh, to take a shower if I don't do it in that way I'm uh, sleepy <laughs> <laughs> and after that I take uh, my breakfast and uh, I help my children uh, to go to school excellent very good I cannot have a shower when I first wake up because I do not have hot water oh <laughs> So I would be freezing. I could never do it. I hate having a shower. I have to do it when it's really hot outside because that's the only time I can do it. <laughs> In the but afternoon. I guess it's, but it's a faster way to wake up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, I'm up. Hi, Theo say Good to see you. Hey, Abby. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? I'm fine, too. Thanks. 
You look like you are in the library. Where are you? <laughs> I'm at work. <laughs> it's kind of crazy in here, you know, because I have to put things in order. But as you can see, anything is ready. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing if is okay That big here. stack of there's a big stack of paper or books behind you. I hope you don't have to look through that. <laughs> I have, believe me, that's oh, my job. Oh no! But because of verbally, now I'm addicted. So. At work for another time. <laughs> now you're really behind on your work. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm very sorry. I don't like being responsible for that, but that's up to you. <laughs> well, but I'm improving my English. That's what counts. That is what counts, exactly. Tell your boss that. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and Unai, what about you? Are you there with us? Uh, yes, I'm here. Ah, uh, nice. Nice to talk with you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Hello. What time do you so like to wake I, up? Yeah, I don't have work now, so I get up at ten o'clock more or less, and um, then I have breakfast, a big breakfast, where uh, I study in English. Uh, I watch uh, a chapter of a series. Oh, I don't know. I make a listening, a English listening. Okay, very good. That's fantastic. So you spend a lot of time practicing English while you are looking for yes. work. Yes, yes, I have a lot of time, a lot of free time now. Excellent, very good. Well, welcome everybody to the class. We're going to get started with our role-playing exercise, and that was a great warm-up. Everyone did a great job of expressing themselves. So I did. Um, I put the link there in the chat box for Verbling and also the Google chat, just in case it's not working for some of you. Carlos. Yeah, hello. Hi, how you doing? Fine, thanks. Carlos, I really like your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, need, I need glasses too, and I want ones just like that, because I can't see very good. Yeah, I, I, I need glasses for work and for everything I do. I do. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I think that's happening to me too. My eyes are not like they used to be. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead and get started. Does everyone have the link there? Yes. Yeah. I'm just reading in the chat. I'm not sure if that message is for me. Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Then, what we're going to do today is we're going to practice role playing. Mm -hmm. So, everyone's going to have an opportunity to play one of the other characters or answer questions based on what they heard. Okay? This is a lesson where you really need to pay attention because if you don't pay attention, then you miss the information needed to answer questions, right? right. Let's go ahead and start with number two. Okay, we're going to skip skip scenario number one. We're going to move down to number two. Yeah, but okay. before we start, let's just make sure everyone has their microphone muted. If you mute your microphone at the top right-hand corner of the screen, bladder. <laughs> I don't know what bladdered means, Tiago. Oh, blastered. Blastered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never I happened just today. Do you mean blasted or busted? Uh, I think it's blasted, isn't it? Like complained? Blasted. He, he blasted you would be like, Tiago, what's your problem? What are you doing on that computer? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and busted as well, too. And busted. Yeah, no. You're in big trouble now. No, no, not really. I do okay. my job, as a, you know. Let's go down to number two then, okay? Maybe we could get Igor to explain what scenario are we going to be dealing with on page number two. Igor. Page number two? Mm -hmm. The first uh, scenario. The second scenario. Uh, about leg? Nope. The one before that on dental. Uh, about the, oh, sorry. That's okay. I think it's page number two of the document that I put yeah. into the... Yes. Uh, call a patient, yes, of your dental clinic. First of all, what's the scenario? Where are we? Who are the characters of this role play? Doctor, uh, the patient. 
So the scenario is due for a dental checkup, right? Yes. And the location is where? Dental uh, location? On the, telephone. On the telephone. There you go. And who are the characters? Dental receptionist and patient. Excellent. So who is the who is a dental receptionist? What is her job? To receive calls from a patient and to help them with uh, their questions. Exactly. Very good. And how often does she usually call patients to make sure they come for their checkup? Sorry, could you repeat your question? Yes, of course. How often does a dental receptionist usually phone patients to remind them to come for a checkup? I think how uh, every day. Yes, that would be her job every day, but how often do patients need to go for a checkup? Oh, a dental patient. Yeah, do you have dental. any idea? Uh, once, uh, twice in a year, I know, here Excellent. in uh, my country, is a normal situation. Same here, same here. Excellent. Um, Koji, could you read student A's role? Yes, I can. Student E, A. Call, uh, call a patient of your dental clinic to let them know that they are due for a checkup. Find a suitable date and time. Tell the patient you will give them a reminder call one day before the appointment. Okay, very good. So the dental receptionist, what does she need to do or he need to do? Uh, call a patient. For what purpose? Uh, he needs to call a patient uh, in order uh, to let them know that they are due for a checkup. Excellent. And, yeah. Koji, when you get that phone call from your dentist, how do you feel? I feel very happy. I enjoy very much, much to go to the dentist uh, in order to have my, my tooth in, in order. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, my teeth in order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. In order I to have my teeth. To, I love to go to the dentist. <laughs> I think that is very rare, Koji. I think that's rare. I really yeah, do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Lorena, what about student B? Can you read that for us? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, second. Um, student B, uh, the receptionist from a dental office calls you to remind you that you are due for a checkup. Ask for a weekend appointment. Ask if you can make appointments for your children too. Okay, so what does the patient want? What kind of appointment do they want? Uh, she wants a, a weekend appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, she wants the dentist to have an appointment for her children too. Excellent, very good. So you might as well do the whole family at once, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Lorraine, how do you feel when it's time to go for a dental checkup? Impatient. Impatient. Hey, that's a really good adjective. Why do you feel impatient? Yeah, because I don't feel like mm, going to the dentist because I need. I I know it will be hard. Um, you know, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea either. Not like that <laughs> cup of tea you start your day with, right? Not nice yeah. like that. Excellent, excellent job. So now in number two, this explains the two questions that the class will need to answer. The two people doing the role play will need to make sure that this information is covered, okay? Why does the receptionist call? When is the patient's appointment? And what else or who else is going to go to the dentist? So make sure that that's all covered. So who would like to be the dental receptionist? Myself. <laughs> okay, Lorraine is uh, going to be the receptionist. Who would like to okay. be the patient? I would. Go ahead, Mina. So let's go ahead. You're going to call Lorena, so you speak first. And then um, Mina, you're going to be next. But Mina, you're a very difficult patient, okay? You hate the dentist. <laughs> you never want to go. And you've actually been in a fight with this same receptionist before because she tried to overcharge you. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, Thank Lorena, you. go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, hello, Mina. How are you today? Hey, who is this? <laughs> I am I am Lorena from I don't know <laughs> from the clinic uh, Madrid, <laughs> the dentist dentist oh. clinic Madrid. Um, oh, really? Would you like to come? <laughs> would you like to come tomorrow for a dentist checkup? Mm, I don't know. Let me see my schedule. Okay. Sure, no problem. Okay. What for? What, what time uh, do you suit? What for? Why should I come to your dental? Because I have in my in my I have an appointment for you. Uh, you were here last year, and it's time to have a new checkup this year. Oh, so you, you should do. Me, you should do. Oh, you telling me that I'm due for a dental checkup? Yeah, sure. Okay. But anyway, okay. I can give you another appointment or uh, of another day during this week. Okay, let me think about it. Um, are you open on weekends? Yeah, we are. We are open on uh, at weekends too. Unfortunately, I'm occupied on weekends, so. Oh, what a pity! <laughs> yeah. What about uh, on Wednesday at uh, lunchtime? Do you work at that at that hour? Yeah, yeah. I'm very occupied. Sorry, I'm so busy. Is there is anything earlier or later than? No, we yeah, actually, we open at eight o'clock in the morning, and we will close at eight o'clock in the afternoon. So it's twenty-four hours, seven days a week, more or less. Okay, okay. Can I make an appointment for my daughters as well? Yeah, sure. Uh, how old is she? She's five. Okay, that's great. Uh, so, what about uh, on Wednesday at um, at nine o'clock in the morning? Mm, actually, let me think about it, and I'll call you a couple of days uh, later. Okay, uh, can you call me back when you find? <laughs> can you call me back when you find your suitable day? Okay, okay. I will think about it, and I, I would ca I would ca call you when I'm going in bad good mood. Okay, thank you. So can have you, a nice day. Call, can you call? Can you call me back later? Okay, I will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> have a nice good day, job. Mina. Bye. Fantastic, everybody. That was really good, Mina. Thanks. That was really good, Mina. What did you say at the end there? Boy. <laughs> I heard you say something and I, I didn't quite understand it. No, I am polite. You're polite. Yeah, you were really nice. <laughs> you were nice yeah. to the receptionist. Fantastic work, Lorena. You did a good job of dealing with such a difficult patient. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mina was nearly impossible to find an appointment for, but you did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> and you too, Mina, excellent job at being able to do that. So, what did... Samuel, what did you notice about the role play? What's something that stood out to you? What's one detail you remember? One detail? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was a, a very polite conversation. Mm -hmm. I was suspecting they uh, trying to do something different about the, to have some problem, but that uh, uh, all happens uh, perfectly, I guess. Yes, it was very smooth, you might say. It was a very smooth phone call, right? Yes, yes. Samuel, how do you feel when you get a call from the dentist and it's time to go in for a checkup? How do you feel? For a dental call? No, oh, it's okay. Uh, it's sometimes okay. Uh, uh, people maybe can feel a little nervous because <laughs> uh, when you go with the dentist, uh, uh, actually, you don't know what is going to happen next. <laughs> yes, that's very true. I'm kind of like um, Koji. I do like going to the dentist, but some people hate it, right? Yes. 
Excellent, very good. Of, of the people try to avoid that time. <laughs> most people do try and avoid it, but that's not good. Okay, we're going to change it just a little bit. I'm going to get Carlos. Yeah. You're going to be play the role of a receptionist or the dentist, and I want you to call Igor. Okay. Because after his checkup, you noticed that he has he has some cavities. Some sorry. Some cavities. Cavities. Okay. Okay. So you need to counsel him. You need to say, um, Igor, you're eating too much candy. That's the reason yeah. he's eating eating too much junk food okay. and then you need to tell him that he has to come in to have it fixed okay okay Igor okay. you are yes. in denial uh, how, how am I you are in denial you do not believe the dentist you think that he just wants your money oh. and you're not willing to comply okay you don't want to go in for your cavities <laughs> okay okay go ahead Carlos phone up Igor Hello, it's uh, it's Carlos from the dental clinic of uh, Alicante. So I want to call with I want to speak with Igor, please. Uh, hi, um, this is Igor. How can I help you? Yeah, we, we can we call we are calling uh, from the the dental clinic. And uh, we have the results of the of your last uh, checkup, and you have uh, some um, cavities in your teeth. So um, we should recommend to 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 uh, uh, to uh, leave uh, your junk food and and candies. You have to to stop with this. <laughs> Okay, but uh, you, uh, are you sure that uh, with my teeth is something wrong? Or maybe something else? Sorry? Are you sure that with my teeth, teeth yeah. uh, are yeah, something yeah. wrong? Yeah, uh, you have some cavities and they are caused because you are eating a lot of sweets. Why you didn't say me when I was at the checkup about this? Uh, why you now call me and uh, tell uh, say me? Uh, yeah, because we had to check the results and uh, we have made some analysis to your to 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 some samples we 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 took and uh, now we have the results and we know we really know that. That the cause of your cavities in your teeth is is candies. Okay, but I was at uh, checkup and I paid a lot of money uh, to you, and uh, now you you say that something is wrong. Yeah. So. Yeah, and you have to come back to the dental clinic, and uh, and we have to find a solution for your for your cavity and your and your teeth. So you you will have to pay again for this. Uh, how much? Uh, we don't know, but uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you are eating a lot of candies, so maybe it will be quite expensive. We think. Loads of money. <laughs> okay, I um, yeah. uh, <laughs> when I will have time, I'll call you back. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I think no you problem. are not. No problem. Yeah, I, I think you're not going to. <laughs> it's okay. Call me it's back. okay. Yeah, it, you, <laughs> it's, it's okay with you. But your teeth is, is not. It's not good now. So you have to come back to the uh, dental clinic now. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Mister. I have to go now. I <laughs> don't be. I don't want to be rude. But I have to go now. I'll call you back later. Sorry. What? Thank you. When, when I, I will speak to you. Eligor hangs up. He hangs up on the dentist. Excellent work, you guys. That was awesome. No, but I said that I have uh, something to do. I not yeah. uh, hangs yeah. up uh, only. Yeah. Good work, you guys. That was awesome. Igor, you you really do not want to believe the dentist. I think you even convinced me. <laughs> Yeah. Really but good you work. said that uh, to go in the night, you said. Huh? 
What did uh, I say? You, you said that uh, you are in den denial. Denial, exactly. Denial. Yes. That's and perfect. I played. I pretend this role. You did an awesome job. That was perfect. <laughs> and Carlos, really good yeah. work. You were not making it easy for him. You were telling yeah. him, no, you are a junk food addict and you yeah. need to stop. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> I, I were very, very clear with, with, with him. <laughs> Exactly, you did a great job. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. Now, at the bottom of that page, there's some common expressions there. Now, are there any questions about what any of those expressions mean? Like, what day works best for you? Are you open on the weekends? Can I make an appointment? Thanks for calling. Anything there you have a question about? You guys did a really good job at using it. So, mm -hmm. I think we can move on. The next okay. scenario, maybe Firkin, could you read scenario number three? Just read the scenario for us. Okay, examining a lag cast. Shall I continue? Yeah, where's the location and the characters, too? Location, doctor's office, characters, patient with a broken leg, and doctor. So, Firkin, have you ever broken a bone? Maybe like a leg, an arm? Have you ever broken anything? No, no. Never? Never. Wow, that's pretty good. What about you, um, Tiago? Have you ever burnt or broken a, a leg or an arm? No, not really. Not yet. I've decided mm. to call you Tiago. <laughs> Yeah, that's my name. That's my name. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you never told me that sooner. I've been calling you something <laughs> totally different. <laughs> because I've created this nickname. That's why. <laughs> exactly. Only I call you that. Can you yeah. read? <laughs> okay. Can you read the role of student A? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, student A, you broke your leg and you have a cast on. It has been four weeks. You visit your doctor to see if you can get the cast off. You want it off before school starts this week. Okay. So have you ever broken a leg or an arm? Me? Mm -hmm. No, I've never let me no, I've never broken it. Never broken anything? No, not really. Just relationships. Just relationships. <laughs> <laughs> well that can be just as painful, can't it? Yeah, I think <laughs> much more painful than <laughs> that a broken arm leg. Or leg. Yeah. So how does this how does this patient with a broken leg how do they feel? Uh he's in a rut in a rush, right? Because uh he has uh his classes at school and he doesn't want to have his cast on. Excellent. Very good. Um Unai. Yes. Why do you think he doesn't want to have the cast on in school? Why do you think that's so important to him? I don't know. Maybe because he won't play football in the school. Or maybe he wants to walk easily, easier. Excellent. Yeah, I never thought of that. Maybe he's into sports, right? Maybe that's the only thing he likes about school. That yes, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Very good. Could you read student B's role? Okay. Uh, student B, your patient wants to have her cast removed. It has been four weeks since the cast was placed on the broken leg. You examine it and determine that the cast needs to stay on for a few more weeks. Okay, so does the doctor have good news or bad news for the patient? Bad news. Bad yeah, news. really. Very bad news. Very good. Excellent. So now let's go ahead and make sure we answer the questions. How did the leg get broken? How long has the cast been on? And what the doctor decides at the end. Okay, so that's what we want to make sure we can answer by the end of it. Who would like to be the patient with the broken leg? And before you volunteer, you have to be you have to be creative. Okay, Firkin, mm -hmm. go ahead. Is it Firkin that said that? Yes. Go ahead. And who wants to be the doctor? Me. Go ahead, yeah. Samuel. Okay. Okay, so let's see who should start. Let's have um, the patient with the broken leg. So, Fur, can you start out? You go into the doctor's office and you talk to him, okay? Okay. It's my turn, right? Okay, doctor. <laughs> 
Uh, could you remove that cast, please? Oh, when the accidents happen, I need to know. I think four weeks ago. Sorry? Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. Oh, uh, maybe it's too soon. Uh, actually, that, that kind of... Uh, of uh, <laughs> I lost with the word. With the injuries. Uh, needs uh, at, at least six weeks to... To, to take the cast off. Maybe you need to, do, I think. to wait uh, two more weeks. At least. And after that, uh, I guess it's better if, if we take a, a radiography. And uh, maybe in six weeks, we can uh, evaluate if that uh, can happen. I, I actually think Firkin might have dropped there on us. Firkin, did you hear that? Firkin? Sorry. Sorry, I was kicked out. That's okay. So the doctor says you have to wait six weeks. What's your response? Uh, yes. Uh, look, doctor, I'm a professional uh, football player and I have to turn back the field and maybe with a little bit of money, like. One thousand grants. No, it's <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh, that one hundred dollars. You can lose more than that if if we take the cast off now. So it's very if you wait. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, after that, uh, uh, you can do the exercise and come back to your profession. It looks like it looks like Frickin is dropping on us. I think he's having a difficult time. So, um, oh, you're back, Frickin. Hey, it's kicking me out. Yeah, it <laughs> seems right, to, right, so. it's not being very nice to you today. But I feel your pain. That's happened to me before, so it's okay. Excellent job, you guys. That was really good, Samuel. You're a good doctor. <laughs> why would why would you say that Samuel is a good doctor? Give me one reason, Koji. Um, he he is acting in the in the good of the patient. Excellent. He is acting for the good for the good of the patient. Yeah. That is a fantastic answer. Really good use of that preposition too. Um, I he's think he's not my father. <laughs> and Firkin, what what kind of patient is Firkin, Lorena? Yeah, um, he's trying to to get um, what he wants because he's a professional football player, and he's is insisting all the time that she need to come back to the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know how to describe. Um, how do you say that? I I forget the the right word. Can anyone help? Maybe stubborn. Yeah, that's it. Stubborn. Right. Can anyone think of any other adjectives to describe a patient like that? Any other adjectives? Anxious. Anxious. Excellent. That's a good one too. Perfect. Really answer. good work. What was that, Persistent. Mina? Persistent. Persistent. Excellent. Very Expanded. good. Tiago says narrow-minded. Okay, so let's talk about this one for a moment. Narrow-minded. Chicken. <laughs> narrow-minded. What does that mean? What do you think, um, Unai? What? I think she. I think he was demanding. 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 Man. Yes. Demanding. He was very demanding. So let's see, for example, Igor, if you were a doctor and your patient came in and he was demanding that you give him something that you know is not good, what would you do? I will try to convince him that he should listen to me um, because I'm a doctor. 
and I uh, know um, um, better uh, what for him is uh, better. I think so too. That's a, probably a good way to say that I'm the doctor, right? But let's yes. let's switch it. Have has anyone ever been to the doctor and they've been a little bit maybe suspicious that maybe thinking the doctor wasn't giving them the best advice or the doctor was trying to give them something they did not need? Has anyone ever been in that position? Yes. Tell us about it, Mina. Well, I was uh, giving blood, you know, volunteering blood to one of my friends, mm -hmm. and uh, he sticks a needle in my arm, and it's not blood, it's something uh, for leukemia. It took like one hour, you know, so uh, he sticking a needle in my arm, and uh, after a while he got, he took it out, and he, he, should, he told me that I should move my hand a lot, you know, in my, uh, my, uh, my fingers, shoot my fingers so I can bump blood. So he kept to stick it out and stick it in, stick it out and stick it in. And I was like, this man is so crazy. Why is he doing this for me? I don't believe you. You know, I, you, you make the machine uh, turn, you turn off the machines. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You know? Mina, that I sounds like uh, a know, nightmare. doing this for something. <laughs> yes. That is terrible. That must have been very, very painful. Yes, I thought uh, that he's fanatic, and because he saw the cross in my hand, yeah, he, he he wasn't like this. It wasn't like this, but I thought it's uh, like this. Yes, it. He didn't. There was something about you that maybe he didn't like. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he's a good man. He's a good man. A good man. He's just not a very good doctor, maybe. <laughs> Excellent work, you guys. Really good answers to those questions. Now, under expressions on page three, under that list of expressions, what be what might be some reasons that you're feeling like you really want your cast off? Itchy. Itchy. What does that mean? Maybe we could get Carlos to tell us. What does itchy mean? What is sorry? What is itchy? Itchy. I don't know the meaning. Sorry. Who can explain? 